So, Dr. Gardner, can you explain a little bit what are pancreatic cysts, particularly in the setting of acute pancreatitis? Sure. So, pancreatic cysts are just fluid-filled collections within the pancreas that can develop for a variety of different reasons. When we talk about pancreatic cysts in the context of acute pancreatitis, what we're talking about is an injury to the pancreas. And one of the ways that the pancreas responds to that injury is it develops these fluid-filled sacs called cysts. And those cysts can just be filled with fluid. They can sometimes be filled with some solid. And depending on if they're causing symptoms or how big they are or where they're located, we may do nothing about them. We may have to intervene with surgery or endoscopy procedures or drains, et cetera. So, but the important thing to remember is that sometimes in the context of acute pancreatitis, patients will develop these cysts as a result of an injury to the pancreas. Have to be careful though, because there are cysts that develop in the pancreas that are not at all related to acute pancreatitis, that can sometimes even be pre-malignant or can, can lead to cancer rarely, in which the cysts can actually cause pancreatitis. So it's a little bit of the chicken versus the egg. Mm -hmm. So it's very important for the doctor who's taking care of the patient to say, this is a cyst that resulted from damage from acute pancreatitis versus this was a cyst that was there before the acute pancreatitis and actually caused the acute pancreatitis. Because in that situation, what we'd want to do is completely remove the cyst if it was causing patient symptoms. Whereas if it's a result of injury, as I said, we can sometimes just watch it and, and let it resolve on its own. I think you bring up a very good point because you know, we frequently see cysts and they can be an incidental finding. So the point that you're making about the history of pancreatitis and the cyst being a result of the pancreatitis, it's crucial. And the point that you make about only treating the patient that has symptoms like early satiety, you know, when they're blocking the stomach or the small bowel or elevated enzymes when they're blocking a little bit or pushing a little bit the, the biliary tree, you know, those are the ones that we treat. I see a lot of patients in clinic that they had a cyst, no symptoms, and it's very difficult in occasions to convince them leave it alone, you know, it's fine. But you need to have that history of the acute pancreatitis that you well, <clears throat> that you well said.